full strength team. Although number seven, Adrian Heath, had to pass a fitness test just an hour ago on an ankle injured in the midweek League Cup win, and he's getting suspensions, Kevin Bond and Asa Hartford, and so are pleased to welcome back at number four, Nicky Reed, for his first match since returning from a summer with Seattle in the North American Soccer League. And it's Everton in the darker shirts who kick off, attacking the goal to the left, a fixture that has bristled with incident in the past. Last time these teams met at Main Road last March, Trevor Francis was sent off in a 1-1 draw. Heath, number seven. Six, McMahon. Sharp. Burrows the fullback. Couldn't get the ball past. Paul Powell, the city caption. It's McMahon with the throw for Everton. Sharp. Heath chips it up. Johnson. David Johnson. Oh, he's made a marvellous run into space behind the fullbacks. Caton in front of him. Gets around him. Oh, terrific play by little Adrian Heath. Sheedy. Heath again in so much space. This time from long range. Inches past the post. What a little dynamo this man is. The game barely a few minutes old, and that's three strikes he's had on goal. Sheedy claims that he got a touch, and the referee agrees. McMahon with the corner. Andy King can retrieve this. Number four with him there is Higgins. Tried to get in the cross and didn't succeed. Gets into some good positions, the fullback, John Bailey. And likes to go forward, as he's doing so here. Oh, finds Andy King. Touch back to Sharp, just behind him. Burrows, the other Everton fullback, also involved in the attack. McMahon. Sheedy. Beaten away by the knees of Williams. last game in the first team with Corrigan playing for the A team today but he had to be sharp with that shot from Sheedy so Kevin Sheedy with this corner for Everton knocked on by Sharp to Andy King the corner it was knocked on by number nine sharp and there was Andy King lurking at the far post to squeeze it in between the keeper and the woodwork Everton one City nil Jones with the corner for City Southall pushed it out only as far as David Cross who drilled it into the Everton net and two goals in the space of a minute Southall shouting at his defenders but he might feel himself that he should have claimed that corner. The ball only pushed out as far as the City number nine, David Cross, who drilled it first time into the Everton net for his fourth goal of the season. And now he's City's top scorer. To help the defence, Sheedy takes the free kick. And Cross with the clearance. Chooses instead Higgins. Oh, a good ball out to the right back, Burrows. McMahon, David Johnson, King, McMahon, this is bright football by Everton, Sheedy's 11, 7 is he, what a tackle that was by Caton, little he popped up with the goal at his mercy, and big Tommy Caton smothered the shot. Williams comes to claim that one, and this time different tactics. Well, there was a few players went down then, including the referee. But what will he do if this goes in the net? Because he doesn't know what's going on. And he ought to blow his whistle to bring it all to a halt. Well, the referee, Tyson, was not flat as the players watched the ball there. And he's completely winded. And what 
a good job it is the ball didn't go in the net because I'm not sure what he could have done he wouldn't have seen the play and would have had to rely presumably on his linesman right sharp inevitably to Bailey Heath again stealing into space oh and turning so well playing with his right ankle heavily strapped after the knock that he received against Newport in the League Cup tie in midweek David Johnson Sheedy Burrows Alex Williams this 20 year old coloured goalkeeper from the side was rather guilty of being off his line there when Brian Burrows, the right back, hit that one, Williams was forced to make a good save. And it wouldn't have been so hard if he'd been standing back on his line. And both of Everton's central defenders, Higgins and Wright, have gone forward. Four and five. Touched on by Sharp! Well, that was a despairing hand, and I think it was the hand of Williams. As that clutch of players went up, almost a repeat of the corner which brought Everton's goal. referees whistle goes at half time a bright entertaining first 45 minutes and it was two years ago to the day exactly that City sacked Malcolm Allison and four days after that they appointed Bond as manager Heath looks tiny alongside Haradi Tuesday and gets on the score sheet here as well a flashing header as he sprinted in to meet that cross and Williams had no chance Everton 2, City 1 King beaten by power, Baker now Reeves number 8 on the left this is Reeves Gets in the cross. Oh, marvellous save by Southall. He took it right off the forehead of David Cross. A good run by Kevin Reeves on the left. He got in the cross. It looked good enough. Cross was there lurking. And Southall came to claim it. Sheedy takes the corner. Touched on by Heath. Billy Wright sprinting back to the defensive position will know that he should have scored then Sheedy lovely ball to find Adrian Heath and Williams comes off his line and got the important touch Billy Wright, number five, who's gone forward. Behind him there, David Johnson. Burrows. Johnson. And Everton's throw. Again, of not really clearing their lines. Everton are finding it so easy to get possession back. Bailey. Power. Andy King, number 10. Oh, he tried to chip it over the challenge of Caton. Just lifted it too high, and Williams came off his line to steal it. Sharp. Andy King. McMahon can go all the way forward. There's nobody between him and the goal apart from the keeper didn't get the connection that he would have wished 
and I think so. Sharp and Caton got there first. All power. Checks. Pursued by Burrows. Well, Powers' persistence pays off. City still in possession. Cross. Baker. Baker. Ransom. Oh, a great ball across the box. Cross was looking for it. Beats the ground in dismay. So too was Dennis Stewart. But that firm ball by Ransom, the fullback. Just evading both of them and about to come on for his second senior game at the age of 16, Paul Simpson, the boy from Carlisle. Johnson leaves it for number two, Brian Burrows, the right back. Sharp. McMahon. Sheedy. Good clean strike of the ball by Kevin Sheedy. Only on the score sheet once since he came from Liverpool. Hit that first time as McMahon set him up. And it only flashed just wide of the post. Burrows. Nicky Reed. Shown rather a lot of that to King, but got it back. This is Simpson, the young boy. Haridi, he hasn't yet scored for City, and he still hasn't. 23 games he's played, Haridi, and not got on the score sheet, and he won't come closer than that. Seemed to have the goal at his mercy, it was beaten out to Stewart. Who lifted it over the bar. Sharp. Nicky Reed penalised. Oh, and the City players weren't watching Sharp there. He went forward and King found him easy as you please. Sharp. Still Sharp. Got King in support now. Punched away from the head of Heath. Well, a rather a moment of slackness in the City defence to allow Sharp to steal into space on the right. King. As the whistle goes to end the match and to end the sequence of City victories at Goodison Park that stretches back for the last three seasons. Everton, the victors here by two goals to one. The winner coming from Steve McMahon in the second half. A powerful header that gave the city keeper Alex Williams no chance at all and Everton after that win away against Newport in the League Cup in midweek felt that they were on a high and were set to end that winning sequence by Manchester City and that's what they've done the full time score Everton 2 Manchester City 1 well plenty to keep the crowd on their toes there but finally the eager Everton youngsters just getting home and for our skill spot we select a couple of silky sweet volleys from two of them the first Kevin Sheedy that's not him on the ball at the moment, that's another left footer, Bailey, who flicks it up. There's a chance to admire a little deaf side foot volley there from Andy King to Sharp. Wasn't quite right, so the game gets spreads out to the right. And in the end, it's McMahon who supports Burrows here, who provides the cross. Both of the volleys come from defensive headers from the same man, Harida, so it pays to keep awake in these situations. There's the jump, he wins the ball, but Sheedy, with that sweet left foot, dips it and brings out a very good save from Williams. Same left foot here that uh, is doing such damage for Everton, trained at Liverpool, rather surprisingly. And here's Haridi's header this time, well outside the box. You can see it dropping about five yards outside. And this really is a fine volley, taken higher by Burrows. He's got his eye on it and takes it really high in the air and <laughs> brings out a further fine save from Williams, who obviously doesn't want Joe Corrigan to get back in the city goal.